Welcome to Good Mythical More. Random, disturbing fact. All right, we're gonna drink some box wine, but first let's get disturbed. The coating on jelly beans is derived from the secretions of the female lac bug. The female lac bug? L-A-C, lac bug. Oh man, we've been eating bugs on beans this whole time? <laughs> you don't even like jelly beans. This is why, I knew it. You sensed it. I mean, how many lac bugs you gotta get to get that I many secretions? It. I mean, jelly beans, I would've thought there were more jelly beans in the world than lac bugs. Okay, so. Maybe one lac bug secretion can be spread across a dozen beans. Let's find out what box wine is the best box wine by drinking all of the box wines. Do you wanna save the onion wine to the end? Because I feel like that's gonna ruin that's a good our point. ability to taste. Yeah, let, let's save it to the end and then forget. We've got white we wine with red onion and uh, red wine with white onion. I'm gonna move these out of my area. You wanna just put so that there so we won't forget about it? I won't forget about it because I can only smell it. Now, because you've got a um, you got a box there that we can put, take that box and then you can, I'll give you the wine, we'll pop it open and then we'll put our glasses underneath. A golden box for box wines. Yeah, and just a reminder, um, uh, if you join third degree quarterly or annual plan of the Mythical Society, uh, you can receive the 80s movies Link hasn't seen, that's me. That's Link. 80s movies are all the movies I haven't seen. It's a special edition stereoscopic viewer. Uh, and matter of fact, it's sitting right over there. It's bigger than that when you get closer to it. it includes never before seen photos and secret interactive content. Also, Mythical Society members, all degrees, can see a bonus round uh, of the main episode that we just shot. Yeah, we shoot, so when, we're, when we're doing stuff like the leaving things in, stuff, we, sometimes we'll shoot bonus rounds, uh, and that's for any, 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 any degree in the Mythical Society. Things got a little bit weird. We, dis we discovered some facts about soap. Wine cube. I've um, seen this on the shelves. It looks tasteful. Now you, oh, there it goes. It's just like milking a cow. So there's a stigma associated with box wine, correct me if I'm wrong, but the advantage of it is that. It's in a box. It, it, it stays. It stays good. It stays good as opposed to opening the bottle and then you gotta like have a special plug to put in the bottle if you're not gonna drink the whole thing. It stays, it stays fresh but also it's more wine. <laughs> I mean, it's just simple math or it's simple, uh, is that geometry? There's more volume in a cube than there is in a bottle. Yeah, and it sits in you. Now, I did the swirl and the sniff. Didn't learn much, but I hope I looked good doing it. Smells like it might be from a box. Having not had any of the other ones yet, I'd say that's good. It's a little light. It's a, I, it's a Pinot. I like a... Um, it, it's not very full-bodied. That's okay, we're not gonna hold it against it. I like a more full-bodied wine. Uh, okay. So let, we'll, we'll come back to that one. But oh, let's go to the the black Sauvignon box. Blanc. Four bottles of award-winning wine in one elegant box. Hand me your your glasses, which are shaped a little bit differently. Do you know the difference between these two wine glasses? One's taller. That's right. <coughs> now that's like a cowpeen. It's different. Yeah, that's exactly what it sounds like. Cow pissing on a flat rock. That was a. Uh, it's a euphemism a for euphemism. when it's raining hard. Yeah, yeah. It's raining like a cow pissing on a flat rock. That's something we say back home. Now, I'm not into this. I'm not into the Blanc, man. Grass notes of grass and vinegar. <laughs> That's not a good sign. <laughs> I mean, it's. And after you drink even that, even that weak red wine, that's actually not that bad. I'm just not. I'm it's just not, not that a, bad. I'm not a big fan of the of the white. It's not as intriguing as the black box would make made me think it was. I mean, what what could be in there? I don't know. I mean, so I, it was so, the only thing left after the plane crash. I mean, it, it's it's really tough to it's really tough to combine. <laughs> we found to, we to, found a black. Did you find the black box? Yes. I drank all of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough to compare, you know, all these different types of wine. You know, the genres. 
Boy, this, this spigot is fun. First of all. I do like that. All three wines left. Oh, and there's more. The next three wines, including the one from before, so these three wines are all white. So this is a, this is a Pinot Grigio. Let's just compare. I like the Grigio better than the Blanc. Let's compare this to the black box. Mm, pretty tart. Mm. It's floral. It's got it's got some it's got some fun. It's got some fun up top. It looks like I'm 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 running through a field of flowers. I actually think that this is the best quality wine so far. That's just my my personal if I, if I'm just going off of I like this. I would say it's both refreshing and balanced. I we I'd say it has flavors of fresh tropical fruit. A little bright citrus, maybe. Uh, actually, there's a crisp pear shine to it. Where are you reading that? I'm just, I'm just getting it from my palate. Now, Franzia. Now, th this is, this is the wine. This is box, the, daddy. That this that, is the one you make fun of for when, yeah. when people have it. Now, it, I like how it fits in the fridge, though, because you want to put these in the fridge. It fits right next to the cereal. Actually, it goes <laughs> taller versus you wider. Know what I'm saying? Put it in your cereal. Give it a shot. You got to turn. It also this. works differently. It's got a more variable nozzle. They give it a nice little trickle. Give me a little trickle. Bring it down. Oh yeah, see. You like that? You like that? Uh, you just want better? a little. You want a little drip? I, I really do. Look at that. You just, like it better than the push button? Just get a wine drip party going. So and then it's it's less likely that your your uncle Bob's going to come over and accidentally poke it. You right. know you don't want to start accidentally. All the other ones you can accidentally poke. I think this one's cheaper. Is this one cheaper? Yes. Um. It's not it's not bringing me it's not giving me much. The Franza. I mean you gave me a lot. But I'll tell you, man, that crisp pear. Um, I've kind of lost nice. track of where I was. The the Bota box is the one that we've liked the most. So the the Bota box beats the Franzia, and I think it beats the Black box as well. Well, we forgot all about Wine Cube, though. I'm just comparing the whites. And then we'll come back to the wine cube with the okay. And now a cabernet. Right, now this so, is so for the white wines. We're, 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 let's 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 declare our winner. We're saying the best white wine that we tasted today was the Boda Box. Boda Box, and you know what? There's a picture of a kayak and a bicycle on the side of it. You know, it's like there's nothing like drinking a bunch of white wine and getting in a kayak on a river. Yeah. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Okay, um, so now we're moving on to Barefoot. Heard of that? Is that by Chris Barefoot and family? I think this is. I think this is a North Carolina wine. Am I wrong? Is it a South Carolina wine? Yeah, Modesto, California, right there on the yeah, box. Yeah, right there. <laughs> by way of North Carolina. I think I get it confused just because of the Tar Heel logo. Oh, we got a nice push button there. And then we also have. The, I don't know. The push button makes kind of a weird stream happen. Uh, can I have uh, your glass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you end up with? You should have two more glasses. I got it right here. All right, so I'm going back to the the wine the wine cube is here. Okay, I'm yeah. keeping this straight. All right, so mm, doesn't smell great. Hmm. I like a cabernet, but I don't know if that's better than the. In the wine cube, it's a totally different wine, of course. It's got like a very, it's got like it's got an overwhelmingly alcohol taste. Yeah, so alcoholic. I mean, do you experience the positive burst of raspberry, raspberry and blackberry, blackberry jam? jam? Yeah, I don't. Because if I'm looking, if I'm going back to the wine cube. Pinot. Oh gosh. Remind me to never to go to a wine tasting with you. <laughs> <laughs> One year for Christie's birthday, we went we went on this like 
wine tasting excursion. You remember that? Did it was you go? Like, where'd you go? You were there. Yeah, it was a good. I think night. it was. <laughs> it was like Malibu Farms or something. They had like a. It was like an outdoor venue, and they had. Oh like, yeah, what's that place? Malibu in Mal Safari. I've been there for my birthday too. Malibu Safari. I didn't see any animals. I think they did have a giraffe or something. Oh well, that's an animal. Yeah, they have a bunch of animals there. I didn't see it though. I, I came for the They're wine, the not races. the giraffe. Uh, that was fun. And let's try. Didn't sound like you. No, that had a good time. That that day, I remember. Because uh, we had somebody so with this us. Is an, this is another. This red, is the red. final one. Okay. So the winner of the white, we're gonna taste the red. This is a. Uh, this is a this is a red blend. I like a blend. I like and again, a blend. this one says aromas of spice and blackberry jam. I don't flavor. like to hear that before I drink it. Okay. <laughs> oh man, like that's it. again. That's better than both of the other reds. I like this one, yeah. Because it's like well, a, it's why like, do you it's like so, it? Because it's very balanced. Because it feels balanced like, between. It's it's you know it's a little bit light but a little bit heavy. Just like me. I like it. I think that it. Yeah, uh, this is my fave too, man. Um, so we're Boda Box really came through. It, I mean, <coughs> how, how does our taste compare to like what people say about these things? It's like Boda Box, like the um, Boda Box wines are the most expensive. Ones. Oh, they are. Oh, okay. okay. Well, we've that's, got, yeah, that's we've got great taste. I mean, they're seventeen bucks or eighteen bucks. No, for the red, it's 19 bucks. That's a good wine. I feel like, we, hey, we picked the most expensive wine. That's why I feel validated. Ooh, that was that was close. Yeah, hey, you know to what? my face. And we could show up at wine tastings dressed just like this. It'd be like, oh, yeah. they're kind of French, kind of science-y. Yep, yep. They must know things. They br they bring the box wine? They, they're very descriptive, but then I read the box afterward, and it seems like that's all they were doing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so let's, let's bring in the orange, uh, I mean the onion wine. And you know what, we lost, but screw it, it's here. This is the red vine wine. Let's try this first, and then I know that's gonna be horrible, so we'll end with that. There's a lot of wine here. Red vine wine, Rhett. Red vine wine, Rhett. Red vine wine, Rhett. Onion wine, wink. Ooh, that's a strong smelling. That's, how long was this uh, red vine in here, a whole month? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a straw out of this. That's crazy. This is like something the vape companies would do if they started making wine. You know, trying to get the kids to drink it. It'd be wrong. Um, but it's very That's, red. The red vine, vine for really red. permeated the entire yeah. thing. Permeated. <laughs> permeated. Now I'm a little afraid of this. And I'm really afraid of the of the rose. Oh, I don't gosh. think it's rosé, I think it's just white wine with red onions. In it. Oh, is that what it is? That's how you make rosé? Yep. <laughs> All right. Oh gosh, are we going for, I, let's choose which one we're gonna do. This one, we got it in our hands. It tastes way better than it smells. Because onions taste good. It doesn't taste bad at all. It's kinda like, I'm sure my breath is gonna be speaking volumes. It, it's it's the kind of thing that you yeah, it's you kinda, like hear about was popular in some like weird little crevice somewhere in eastern Kentucky. It pairs uh, well with you had onion wine. <clears throat> it pairs well with a manwich. I like it. Well, let's go for the red with the white onion. I don't want to. My stomach's burning. <laughs> My head's kind of floating. That's <gasps> You like it? That's better. It's better than this, yeah. Because it's, it's more subtle. subtle. Oh, it's subtle, yet still oniony. Mm, pairs well with manwich. That's good. That's really that's better than Boda Box. <laughs> yeah, it ain't that good, but it's not as horrible as you might think. Mm. All right, we learned something today. Why? Boda Box makes great wine, and onions only make it better. Embark on a cinematic journey of visual discovery of 80s movies Link hasn't seen. Coming soon to all third-degree Mythical Society members.